Jeffrey Smith, a graphic designer, was living paycheck to paycheck with his wife, a student, in Phoenix, Arizona. Then their dog got sick, and the vet bills upended his already shaky financial situation. Here is this payday loan store that's offering me this instant solution. I'm not thinking two weeks ahead of how am I going to pay this back. Smith went to what's called a payday lender to borrow $500. He was supposed to pay it back in two weeks with a $65 fee. That's a 456% interest rate. Within months, one loan had turned into 33 loans, each with a $65 fee. Paying over $2,000 a month in interest on a salary of $4,000 a month, Smith was now taking out new loans just to pay interest on old loans. I literally took off every other Friday um, from work. I would be going around from payday loan store to payday loan store, taking out money. Payday lenders who expect to get paid back from the borrower's next paycheck were allowed to set up shop in Arizona beginning in 2000. Within five years, the fast cash business was booming in Phoenix, growing from less than 100 stores to more than 400, all operating with little regulation and no limit on the fees they could charge. Payday loans are attractive because they're quick and don't require good credit. With just a check stub and ID, it's only a matter of minutes until you have cash in hand. Still, borrowers are at high risk. Interest rates at this California payday lender can be up to 400% annually. But if a borrower skips out on a loan, by law, the lender cannot sue. Payday lenders post their interest rate clearly, and each state is supposed to regulate the practices. 13 states have banned payday loans completely. Payday lenders spent literally tens of millions of dollars trying to convince the public that 400 percent interest was good for them. After years of legislative battles, in June, Arizona law will put a cap on interest rates for payday loans at 36 percent. Jeffrey Smith, overwhelmed by his loans, filed for bankruptcy last year, but says the life lesson was priceless. I'll go to my grave before I take out another payday loan. Hattie Kaufman, CBS News, Los Angeles.